Ah. Everything all right? Yeah, this stuff's just way too thick. Hmm. Let's try and make some super thin recycled plastic sheets. In this video, we're going to be showing you a technique we've developed for making super thin sheets out of HDPE. In our other videos, you may have seen us melt plastic in our panini press and then flatten it using our homemade bottle jack press. However, this doesn't work great if you're trying to get really thin sheets, as the material cools quicker the thinner it gets. This means that the plastic's probably going to be hardened before you get to the thickness you're trying to achieve. To get around this, you need to find a way to both heat and clamp the material at the same time. So we bought this t-shirt press. This machine does only heat on one surface as opposed to two, so it does take a fraction longer. But you can adjust the heat and the pressure, so it works great for HDPE. To make a sheet, we're using our normal technique of heating the plastic in separate color groups, then twisting and folding them together to get that marble effect. We're also using a little bit of white plastic here, which has come out of our brand new shredding machine, which we'll tell you a little bit about later. And because these are the two most popular questions we get asked, these black mats stopping the plastic from sticking to the press are called Teflon baking sheets. And those bright orange gloves that are stopping the plastic from sticking to our hands are called silicone oven mitts. And don't worry, we'll put links to... Ha! Ah, and don't worry, we'll put... <laughs> <laughs> links to everything we use in this video, and don't worry, we'll pop links to everything we use in the description. Okay, now we're happy with the colour mix, we're going to leave it in the press until we get the thickness that we want. If it's not quite thin enough, then we'll just crank up the pressure and re-clamp it until it is. And to make sure that your sheet doesn't warp at all, the best thing to do is let it completely cool in the press. So the next nifty little gadget that we've bought is this guitar pick hand puncher, which is designed to cut guitar picks out of thin plastic such as credit cards. As always, one of the great things about working with recycled plastic is that any waste that you have can be remelted and used again in one of your next projects. At this point, some of you might be thinking, Yes, brothers make, of course I want to save the world, but this does look like a lot of effort. Fear not, we've got you covered, as we've just launched our brand new online store at brothersmake.com. Thanks to our brand new machines that we've invested in, we are able to collect, clean, shred and inject 100% recycled plastic into brand new items. And you can buy items such as the pics you've seen in this video to plant pots and key rings. You might even recognise a few of the products on there from some of our older videos. If you are thinking of having a go at making these yourself, then a really quick way to finish them off is to go around the outside with a high grit sanding sponge and then quickly give them a buff on a polishing mop. If you have any ideas of things that we can make using thin sheets of HDPE, we'd love to hear them. So just drop a comment below. But enough from us, let's give these to somebody who actually knows what they're doing with them. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Hey, this is Andy from Skinny Knowledge, and I'm going to give this little bad boy a spin.